What's going on, world? It's uh, Friday, August 7th, 2015. Me and Will. And uh, S is right now, he's working with Kofi on some things with uh, with apparel. Mick and, and Pi, they're over there, and Ray, they're working right now. So, uh, first and foremost, want to give credit where credit is due to the most high. <clears throat> we are grateful for the opportunity to come together on this Friday and uh, go over things that we went through throughout the week and um, and then even moving forward for, for a big event next week. And so uh, these things, it's it's a must that we, at least, you know, we keep this line of uh, communication to a couple parties and then they're, they're able to, to pass the word along. So never take these uh, opportunities for granted. Um, but jumping right into it, uh, Mary Fernandez. She's the person that's helping us with Amazon, our Amazon account. And she she should have already set up, it's called Auber account. She should have already uh, set up that. It's basically just a form to uh, to rate, rate the product. And that's what we're gonna need when the product arrives, excuse me, to Texas. When it gets to their Amazon warehouse, and what we're going to do is be giving away 10 cases for away for five days, 50 total, and we need all these reviews because Mommy. that's what Amazon Mommy. wants Mommy. to see, Mommy. which is kind of crazy. I know we talked about this, but the more and more we talk about it, and you know, once it is that time, when the to move forward with this, it's I'm just excited to see because we don't know what's going to happen. You know, we we've heard what other companies have been able to do based on them uh, setting up an account to sell their product on Amazon through that that outlet. And you know, we talked about a few numbers of what that could happen. Obviously, anything is possible. We know that, uh, but just realistically, if we were able to sell six cases a day. For the whole month, I mean, it adds up. I mean, that's like 10, 10K, over 10K. And it's, it's, it's as long as we continue to work on it, and that's the whole thing. Like, when we find these connections and we see if it really was something or it wasn't, but then just try to uh, continue after it because, okay, there is, there is a way to, to, to break into it and sell product, and you just got to figure it out. So we'll see. I mean, We'll see what happens um, it, coming up shortly here. And then we got Evelyn Anda. And if you guys remember her, she's the employee for Shell right there in Marina. And she's helping us with, with the app. Uh, once again, I'm just refreshing your guys' mind. She said probably by September. We should have an app. Her and her and her team for C CSUMB, they're working on it right now. And so it's, it's just exciting time for us uh, that people were finding these connections and there's people out there that's willing to help us in our journey that have skills, uh, more skills than we do in certain areas. And so it's just it's man, as as we continue to just move forward, man, just continue to feel blessed and are we still riding this thing out? I mean, that's that's the biggest thing. Uh, let's see. And then we got Heather J. Forbes. And who she is is basically she takes care of, because Marina, they don't handle the business license renewal fees anymore. So they pass it off to another company, and this is the person to contact. Once again, Heather J. Forbes. So she sent me over the renewal application. And I took care of that expense. It came out to seventy-two bucks. Um, yeah, seventy-two bucks and some change. So we definitely had to take care of that before. I believe the date was August nineteenth so that you know there's no interruptions and then from what i read you would have to start the whole process over which is it's not that difficult but it's just for what you know let's take care of these expenses 
that present themselves in a timely fashion because they could come back to bite you. Where am I? I got an, uh, a direct message on Instagram from this guy. His name is Big Big Rex. And he's from uh, San Diego. But he sent us an email. He was inquiring about sponsorship packages that we, and they really want us to be a part of this year's, I guess it's their first year. It's called Island Slug Fest. I'll show you some pictures. <clears throat> but I'm gonna show you the sponsorship package packages that they have. So as you can see, it says home plate, three thousand dollars. So it's a title sponsor, banner, fifteen tickets to Island Slugfest after party, VIP booth and canopy fully stocked, radio announcements, logo placement on all advertisement, commercial placement, host of games mentioned sponsor all the time throughout you see that throughout, yeah <laughs> so throughout, throughout games <laughs> throughout, throughout games huh. that's a new one sponsor name on all trophies that's the home plate third base is uh yeah, this, i mean pretty pretty typical sponsor packages i'm just I'm really, to be honest, I'm just kind of wondering where they come, they come up with these numbers. Like, and who will really be paying for these sponsorships? If this is a, this is a, um, a little softball game. And unless it's in, like, the San Diego Stadium, <laughs> the Padre Stadium, You said it's the first one, or? Huh? Yeah, it's the first one, yep. Yeah. Oh, damn. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, damn, they, they charging all of this right here? What's, what's really going on? Because <laughs> if it's just at a regular park, you're just like, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> you're like, man, what the hell? Yeah, I actually have a softball thing too. I'll, I'll bring it up later. Is it is it like this too? No, nah, it, it ain't nothing like that. Oh. <laughs> Those prices ain't nothing like that. Yeah, or is, is it like sponsorship like we did for the little uh, pony? Yep. Like, uh, or no, nah, it's uh, it's just like a softball, a slow pitch softball tournament. It's gonna be in. Uh, Salinas. Yeah. Is it for a cause? Yep. It's for uh or, or do you want me to pull it up after or oh yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, we'll do it after. Uh so I mean I I don't know. I just don't see it. I personally don't get it. Uh what do you feel? <laughs> yeah, the, the prices are are up there. I don't know what's gonna be coming else with it, but it says VIP, but <laughs> it's like, wait, wait, I thought we were just going to sample. <laughs> Talking about VIP in the club. <laughs> oh, man. Man. it doesn't say anything about uh, like attendance or anything like that. <laughs> no, see, and then they're gonna put <laughs> throt, <laughs> throt <laughs> games. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but uh, well, I mean. <sighs> I don't even know when this is. Oh, Labor Day weekend, so that's that's a huge weekend. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll probably depends if we can find something. But if we have an event that could, we could possibly do on that day, man, it's a no brainer. Labor Day weekend, so I mean that kind of already is. Uh, well, I'm pretty much. <laughs> 
I know, yeah. to, to be honest. And it's all the way in San Diego. Not to say we wouldn't make a trip out there, but nah, not what's in our agenda, at least as far as the direction at this moment in time. Um, so we get to Coastal Logistics, and these are the people that we work with, as well as they're the uh what is it um they're basically the connection that finds the carriers for us so coastal logistics and i was talking to mark and i just throw everything that we we've uh we shipped out just recently so we shipped out a couple pallets 80 p 80 a piece 80 cases on each pallet. We ship that out to Amazon. That should be arriving next week. Um, we also sh shipped out a pallet of 50 up to Tacoma because Ray is going to do that event that we spoke about. That's going to be on the 15th as well. And so he needed some product uh, to be able to sell. And then even have a little bit extra for future events that may come up and I just want to see how it goes, what he's able to do. We might, I might give him a call and just uh, tell him to make a little, a little sign that says, and try to really, really just sell people, you know, how like we did. He said, oh man, you can get the, like $5 a bottle, but if you buy the case, it's 25 but we don't go that far down. We just say, oh, it's uh, $5 a bottle, but if you buy a case, we'll, we'll uh, knock off $20. You know what I mean? And just have a sign like $40 per case, like how we were doing too at the Tahiti yeah. Fit. Same yeah. thing. Just to, just to see how much more he can sell with yeah. the deal. Like, cause I mean, it's gonna, we, we know how events are and, uh, you know, 10 to 20 is cool. 10 to 20 is cool. But if we can sell a little bit more, you know, we're talking about moving up 25, even possibly 30. Damn, that's, that's what we're looking to do. And once again, it all comes down to understanding our profit margins, what we're able to, to do, how flexible we can be in order to still make a profit. And that's, that's just pretty much it, simple. Um, so that's what we shipped out so far. And this is the people that we've been working with for the past few shipments up to Tacoma and then these recent ones. <clears throat> Then I talked to Tom Ryder of HA Ryder and Sons. I'm trying to find a new cap supplier instead of those white ones. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about switching the caps up just because of the fact that we've been having issues. And it's just, uh, it kind of puts me like I, uh, it's like an uneasy feeling with these caps when you start seeing things more frequently uh, as far as the like we've seen, not tightened the um, the bottom will bust out, and we're like, "What the hell?" And then even on some cases, we've we've found bottles that had mold in them. So when you see when you start seeing these things, you're saying, "Oh yeah, man, we got to change it up because the I'm just I mean it's I know t I know uh, products have run into the the same issues that we've run into." right now but on bigger levels like for instance out walla when they had to recall all that juice because of that e coli outbreak and man i can only imagine just getting to that level and then having something like that a recall but then look at them they still even though that happened they still kept it pushing like fuck man we took a big loss but you know we still here uh so we just we don't want to um, like put ourselves in a position where I mean it's turning up left and right we want to find out what the problem is I believe it's the, the cap the closure I really do and then take care of it I mean there's different different caps that can fit our bottle and that's what I'm looking for um, so I'll keep you guys posted uh, yeah posted with that And then we have uh, 
Christina Ugai Tafa. I think that's how you say her last name, but she's part of PIT, and they sent us over the email and what we have to pay in order to be a vendor at this year's event. Uh, from last year to this year, it's, it's expected. They raised their prices from 200 to 250 and it would, they try to make us pay 350 but I was able to talk them out talk them out of it and get it down to 250 and the reason being is uh, when we do events a lot of a lot of uh, the event planners will allow us to be uh, listed as a non-food vendor and it's because we don't technically we don't have food we're just selling a drink and so I was able to talk her into getting that you know $250 vendor fee and dropping it a hundred bucks and so we uh, are definitely going to move forward with that <coughs> excuse me and I just found well we'll say it right now will is not going to be able to make it this uncle fee now is one year we just found out about this just right now um, but better late than never I guess uh, but he's going to go over there, pay his respects, and represent. Um, and then we're going to take care of this on the PIT. Ray's going to do his thing up there in Tacoma. And Pizzo, he's going to do his thing at Whole Foods. He's going to do a sampling demo. And um, the, the one thing that I wish, uh, and I'll, I'll reach out to everybody, but the one thing that I want for, uh, for the event is um is really like like we talked about if we have a, just a few more bodies because then we can really assign people to do certain things and that's what i i'm hoping for and we're going to push for and i mean we're going to go where we got anyways that's that's no no brainer but definitely we have an opportunity to to um like really really do well in sales if it's anything like last year and even if it isn't I mean, because we, we're going in with more products, we know we're going to make a little bit more than we did last year, and that's the whole point. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited, man. This is a big event for August for us, and, uh, and we definitely need to find some more so we can just keep on killing the rest of, rest of this off. As far as the, uh, I started the order, ordering process excuse me, for uh, our next production run. And so I, I sent out POs to overnight labels, Allen Flavors, um, Zuckerman Honigman for our bottles. I still need to contact uh, Real Food Marketing, Mike over there, because we have a few ingredients that we need to get. Uh, but I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm just preparing, preparing us for upcoming, the upcoming production run, because uh, they're, H.A. Ryder and Sons, they're booked already all the way into October. So they're pretty good about fitting us in. We've talked about this on a few occasions. And so that's why they just told me last time is like, yeah, just order up. And some, you know, there's always times that people cancel. I can't do the run and we'll throw you in there. And, uh, and so Daisy will keep us updated with that. I'm just starting early right now, just in case. Cause I mean, we're looking at what we're trying to do as far as the Amazon, Amazon route too. And let's say we just, well, off the top, those there's 50 cases out of that. What is it, 160? So there's going to be a, only 110 cases left after we do that giveaway. Let's just say we do sell six cases a day. Like after we do that, that's 180. We would need to sell. I mean, or we would need to. Uh, to send more product over there and right now we're pretty low and, and that's why uh, we're prepping right now getting that ready and, and hopefully 
uh, we could get all these raw materials in before or around the first week of September. So we can try to get try to get a run in. And then uh, my last, well, I would say, let's see. Oh, yeah, just going back on the, the ordering, Zuckerman Honigman, uh, I was talking to John, and he told me that uh, they're out of inventory right now, but on Wednesday, they'll have um, pallets ready, and then we can place the order. And then also the uh, pricing went down per, per thousand bottles. So if you guys remember, it was about 241 and some change. And now it's 235.34. So, I mean, if once again, prices fluctuate, and this is good for us. I mean, it saves us a little, little change. Wonder what what makes it change like that. I know. It's like stocks and shit. <laughs> yeah, for real though. <laughs> like uh, up and down. Oh so this one was uh this is this was this is pretty cool, man. I mean um yesterday I'm talking to Joseph Quagliata and he works for BBVA compass and i was telling you guys a little bit about this in a text message yesterday but this is this is like so cool for me personally lafo he runs into his old friend this guy joseph they start to talk in i guess the, the bank that he works for they got penalized for not giving small businesses enough loans and uh, lines of credit and he's telling lafo this whole story and lafo is like what hold on Man, I got a perfect candidate a candidate or a referral. I got a perfect referral for you. He was like, yeah? He was like, yeah, but you can't be bullshit, man. It's just legit. <laughs> like, for real, because he's not one of those dudes that just be playing around. Like, he's serious, man. He's really trying to trying to build his company. And then um, he's like, no, nah, no, nah, it's it's legit, man. It's it's good. Ask me anything, and then I'll, I'll give you the information. And so Lafo just started uh, letting him know. Like, okay, so they you're sure they don't need any documents. And it's like, nah, they just need their uh their annual revenue. Yeah, it's like, okay. So he said, All right, and then um uh, he gave him his he gave him all my information and he told him this is this is what we were able to do. We went after twenty five K and we didn't get it based on you know what 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 was what had to be shown. But we did get fifteen. And the guy was like, oh, man. That's why I was telling you guys, hey, we're, we're going to shoot for, we can get 25K to 75K. And I was like, what? <laughs> oh, man, listen, man, give me his uh, information. I hit him up on an email. He contacted me back. And so, like I told you guys, uh, this, is, this is huge for us. This is a huge opportunity because it was unexpected. And that's what Lafo said. He was like, man, I bet you didn't even expect this. And I was like, to be honest, I didn't. But at the same time, it's crazy how things work out. You know what I mean? If you're just like, just continuing to build something up. And like I said, opportunities come your way. They're, they're, they present themselves to you. You're just working hard. And more doors continue to open up. And that's, a, that's what's so powerful about this journey and and what we've been able to experience so far is because I know, and it was something that I told you guys. I said, man, just imagine like this right here. This is only in two years of us just grinding, me doing what I need to do to build up my credit score, build up our business score. And not only that, but just being faithful with the little things. And it's, hey, it's piece by piece. 
we got small amounts. We started to get bigger. And look at it, it's, it's continuing to get bigger. And I tell you guys this all the time. And it's because I'm just, I, that's what I believe in. That's what I have faith in from what I've come across in the information. And that's what it's, has uh, brought us here, man. It really has, is understanding how to be um, a good steward with the finances that you are, are blessed with to bless others. And what I mean by bless others is, look, at, we're changing lives here. You know what I mean? This dream right here turned reality that we're turning into reality each and every day, we're affecting people in a good way. And we're bringing change. And God sees that. And that's why it's so powerful to me because I'm always thinking about like, man, I just want to make them proud. That's all I, all I ever think about. I'm crying last night in my prayer. And I was like, man, all I want to do is make you proud. We're, we're all flawed human beings regardless, but at the end of, end of the day, I just want to make him proud. And by his actions, obviously I'm doing something. You know what I mean? I'm recognizing, I'm catching on, I'm following his lead, and this is the fruits of that. And it's only going to continue to add on because we're after some heavy. I really, really are, man. It's, and that's, man, I, I, two years, man. That's that's all I got to say. Two years. That's a huge leaps and bounds. And we all can do that. Like we all could do that to get to where we're going faster. It's going to take some time. But just imagine when we have everybody on that same level. Like two years from now, you know what I mean? Like Will right now, he's on. Two years from now, he just started. Bam. Two years later, now he's getting what, what we're talking about right here, 25, 25 to 75K in in a, a line of credit to help with cash flow to help with hiring new employees to help with whatever whatever it is but just imagine we get even get there even faster because we we took took it and ran with it i mean it doesn't have to take two years like we know we could get there a lot faster but is this stuff right here i mean you can't even it's so cliche, but people say it all the time. It's like, man, you can't even write a better script. You couldn't because it's just so fun. It, it is fun. It's a, it's a lot at, at times and then like good and bad and in between. But you get to, to experience everything throughout the journey. And that's, a, that's what build, builds character right there. And I always, I always tell you guys, soak, soak these experiences up, the process, pick and pull, use, apply. I can say whatever, but at the end of the day, it's up to you. But we on, we on to something. I mean, and I'm excited to come Monday, Tuesday, whatever the day may be. I'm going to hit y'all up too, and I'm going to let y'all know. And it helps out with a lot of things, because if you think about what we, we got going on, Let's just say, man, we're, we're hoping for 25, but let's just say 20, 75 is just dropped on us. Like, man, nah, I trust you with this much. You feel me? Like on something like that. Look at what we what we try to do. We try to create another flavor. Let's double the expenses like we, all, we talk about all the time. We're trying to go hard with the apparel. We're trying to push that. You know what I mean? We're trying to go hard with Amazon. <sighs> We're just trying to hit. We're trying to see it, man, for real. Like, we're just trying to hit, like, okay. And even if it doesn't, this is why I'm giving you 75 so you have a little bit of cushion to play with. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Those are the things that I look at, how, how I perceive it myself, because it's always, okay, keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on doing what you're doing. Get up another step, another step, another level. And it keeps on happening like that. And, little more a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more because you need you need that little bit more because it's like it's a it's trial trial and error and you don't you don't know if you're gonna succeed on the first play you you're just going in there like oh, i'm gonna try this out so you need a little bit of uh you know something that that could help you to maintain and that's man 
that's why it's, 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 it's so crazy to me seeing what's unfolding as we continue to take step after step. But I'm, I'm, I'm gassed, man. I'm hyped, uh, especially because, you know, Lafo, he didn't have to call us. He could have just been, like, listening to the, to the dude talk about what he got going on, and he could have just been like, eh, whatever, and didn't even think twice about what we got going on, but he did. <laughs> and look it. You know, you look at Lafo the first time, he came, he came knocking at our door. He was like, man, Oos, I can help you get this. I said, okay, let's give it a shot. We gave it a shot, and what did we end up with? 15K. <laughs> we ended up with an unsecured line of 15K. So he, he was proven already. I already believed in him. And look, he brings another connection that's going to be able to get us well, well, what's been said throughout this night, 25K to 75K. <laughs> that's pretty big, man. That's pretty big. And let's take it all in. I mean, it's it's uh, it's – it's hard to believe because we don't see it. And I know we're still trying to switch our minds over to the thinking of I believe, therefore I see. But it's hard. When you're programmed, when that's all you known for your whole life, and you're just trying to go like this and do an about face, it's not going to happen overnight. And that's what makes it more difficult because when we're over here and we're feeling down and out, we feel like, damn, man. You know what I mean? We're feeling all these different emotions, I'm saying, because it's not happening fast enough. And then we start feeling a certain way. What if we just show a little bit more patience and just trust? Look it. Bam. Look what happens. Another connection is made. More capital is going to come our way, like we always talk about, like we always pray, what we always pray about. It, it just does because you're being faithful. That's what I truly believe, man. I don't think he'd be BSing with us if we wasn't. I think he'd have just cut us off. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, feel it, man. <laughs> feel where he's coming from, man, because it, it's uh, something major for us, man. Uh, and that was the last update right there. And then we have uh, – weekly updates and will you had some some things uh that you wanted to bring up yeah i was gonna uh just one uh, event that uh this guy reached out to us on facebook go ahead and uh share it right now you see that uh-huh <clears throat> okay so a uh, person of contact that reached out to us his name is kyle uh Sadiko. uh it's basically a softball tournament of cure for Connor. Uh, he reached out to us via Facebook and informed me that he's putting together a slow pitch softball tournament. It is a fundraiser tournament for a nine-year-old boy who has a plastic anema, anemia. He is looking for sponsors and is asking if we would be interested in sponsoring the tournament. And in return, we could come out and set up to sample slash sell uh, oosh juice out there. The uh, softball tournament is – so they got two of them. It's, it's a two-day event. Uh, the first day is all is a men's uh, – all men's team, which is August 29th. And uh, the next day, August 30th, is the co-ed teams. And it's, it's going to be uh, at the Salinas Sports Complex. Uh, you can just see some of the uh, – Sponsors on this flyer that he sent me. Uh, so you got Bunker and Sons Transportation, Low Packaging Group, uh, Show Off. We've seen those guys before at, at an event. Um, what is this? And then um, I asked him what the pricing was for, as far as what is he looking for for sponsorships. Uh, he said that he wasn't really looking for – they weren't really looking at an exact uh, amount. But he told, me, he told me that most people are donating anywhere from $100 and up. So, and we'll bring that to the table, see what everybody else thinks. 
Yeah, I mean, for the most part, uh, we feel a certain way about things like this. And, I mean, at the, the sponsorship level, I mean, that seems reasonable, 100 bucks. Well, you're not trying to beat nobody over the head, but it really feels that, oh, man, this right here is a good cost, and we ain't even asking for much. And I think that's kind of like the approach. To, to be honest, if you're going to go at somebody, like at least come with something serious. Because this right here is realistic right now. It's a so, it's the same thing we were talking about earlier, softball. and But it's for two different causes. But I guarantee you this softball right here event is going to get uh, way more money. Yeah. I really do. I really feel that it is to support their cause. And because it was, for once again, it was because they were realistic about things. This right here. We're definitely, I definitely want to uh, be a sponsor because we sell a couple cases and it's two days. We got two days to sell a couple cases. Hey. So. Okay, yep, I'll go ahead and let him know and uh, just confirm with him and then we can go from there. So that's going to be the end of this month. It's August, right? Yeah. yeah so a couple weeks, three weeks. What's the what's the date? The actual date again? It's, uh, the first day is August 29th, and the, the first day is all men's, and then the second day is the co-ed teams, which is the thirtieth. Yeah, so that's uh, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. We'll go ahead and uh, double check on the specific times. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't say anything about the times or anything. But I'll, I'll go ahead and ask him for more detail about the event, and then uh, I'll bring it back to everybody else. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. If you get that, like more detail, like with times, and I mean, that's. I wonder if we got. I don't think we got anything else going on, but we might. Okay. And then, but uh, just like to me, this, like that softball tournament that we did uh, was a couple of months ago. When we went to the Dennis the Menace. This this thing kind of, like to me, when I was reading this and looking at it, it kind of got that same type of feel too. Yeah. Um, do you remember what we did over there? I know we didn't. We did pretty decent for like for the outing that we had. For just like the exposure. But uh. Yeah, I'm just wondering how many how many teams are going to be having. Yeah, because we did nine cases. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That was if you look at it, that's pretty damn good for. <laughs> yeah. Remembering that day, how that day went, <laughs> and that was only one day. So. Yeah, and we did one for three, two for fives. So. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's why I'll go ahead and let them know. Uh, as far as other events, haven't really found anything else. Um, one thing I did, I did wanted to bring to the table was, uh, I know we talked about it, but we never uh, went into action as far as joining the uh, Chamber of Commerce of uh, Pacific Grove. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, I was thinking of just going ahead and just joining one of these, either Monterey or or. I think it was Pacific Grove was the one that was uh, – because I think it was a Monterey one where it was pretty pretty expensive. Yeah. But it was a PG one where I um, actually never reached out to them and, and actually got a set price on how much it, how much it cost to join. But I, that's, like, one thing I'm looking at is as far as, like, looking for these event, – any type of events is joining one of these groups to where we get – more exposure like uh like in this in our uh, local areas for sure because i know, you know it's just it's kind of hard just like waiting on these events to come up because i've been looking on facebook and been looking uh like on, on online and it's just kind of hard to really find specific events that really be good for us yeah i mean to be honest We've we've done different types of events, 
and majority of them, they like really work out for us. It's been, yeah. I mean, I would say, you know, that softball thing that we went to with Mike Sumter, that wasn't worth our time. But I mean, pretty much everything else, we've been able to sell product. And uh, I, yeah, it is tough, man. I'll, I'll be trying to find picture like when, when that's when i'll be catching sometimes i'll be catching like uh t-shirt vendors or whatever and they'll be posting up where they're gonna be and i was like oh damn and so that's how i'll be catching some of the events and trying to f- find out who the hell the person is to get in contact with so we can see if there's an opening but other than that it's like damn how the hell we find this shit <laughs> some yeah. of it falls into our laps where people are calling us or they're emailing us and it's telling us about it. That's cool, but uh, man, I want to do hella more. And yeah. uh, that's that's the hard part, finding them. Yeah. So I feel it, man. Oh, and then uh, another thing was uh, it's on Facebook. So on Facebook, I was. What I did was, you know, how since you made that, that new page, uh-huh. uh, I was what I went ahead and did was I I I, uh, I canceled the other one just because it was getting mixed up as far as because you know how we first had a profile page and then like it got turned into a like page. Yeah, Basically, it was, but like when we when you sent like when you made that post and we all made the post about. Gonna go like go like Ushu's LLC on Facebook. I could tell that people some people were getting that one up. Like they were they were going on to that one and, and clicking uh, liking our liking that page, which uh-huh. kind of it was. I know it's kind of confusing because we already had a like page from the gate. And yeah. Then, and then that that profile page got turned into a, a pretty much a like page. So it was, then we had our new one. So it was like. It's just kind of confusing, and then uh, what I went ahead and did was I canceled it. And Which then, one? Uh, uh, I canceled like our profile page. The one that we had all the likes and everything. No, or is, are you talking about something else? No, no, you know the uh, not not the very first like page that we had, but the the or like our profile page that got turned turned into a like a a business this, page. This new one? No, 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 not the new one, but. Uh, Remember how I told you, like we had a profile page, right? And then, uh, and then I, I basically made access to that page from from my own Facebook page. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, I canceled that one, but I still have access to it. I can't. I canceled it last week, and uh, it said it, this page will cancel in 14 days. And then I, I just barely looked on it. Look, try to go on there right before the meeting. And yeah. Then, Cause I was trying to look at that guy, that guy uh, Carl's uh, message, to pull up the picture, but then uh, like it wasn't showing, it, and I was like, "Oh, what the hell? It must have erased already." But then uh, I just I uh, searched it, and then uh, it came up. So so pretty soon it's gonna, uh, pretty sure it's gonna uh, cancel out like for good. So I was uh, I was thinking like, what do you want to do about that? Just it's kind of it's kind of confusing when you look up issues on uh, Facebook. Yeah, you'll see like you'll see the our brand new page, our old light page, and then like the uh, the business page. I only saw I only see two. So is yeah, there, yeah, it has the one with our likes. Um, and then it has that new one I created. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, uh, like you, you can't even see it because uh, I erased it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here, here I'll go ahead and pull it up. Here, let me just screen share real quick. Just to show you what I'm talking about here. Now, I've seen two of them. Like, uh, when they had two of them. Like, ooh, shoes, LLC. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, I think I have the same picture. Yeah, okay. Uh, look at my screen. You see it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So so you see this one? Mm-hmm. So, uh, I like that. Yeah, that's our first like page. And then the, see how I don't, I don't know why it shows two, which is even more confusing. Like this one is the one that I canceled. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, this, one, this page has not been published. So I basically unpublished the page to where uh -huh. people see it. Was that our likes right there? 4,000? <laughs> yeah. It was? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me. Because uh... other ones. Oh, we had two. Yeah. See, I, I think what that is, is I think that was like all of our friends. Yeah, right there. 2,162 yeah. likes. Yeah. See, I, see, I never, I should never notice that. But that, uh, yeah, it says 4,000 likes, but I think those are just all of our friends. We got 4,000 friends? Oh, yeah, we did. I'm a, I'm yeah, sure. we got... It was a lot of friends. Yeah. You can just see how difficult that thing is. Just by the new page. Yeah. How, it, how hard it is to get friends and likes. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, it's hella funny because... Uh, I even uh, I went to, like from my personal page. I went there and then I, I went on to our brand new like page, and I I started uh I started inviting all my and then uh, it, 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 What was this part? Nah, uh, like from my personal page. Yeah. When you, made, when you uh, made that new page, that new like page. Uh huh. I went on our like page and then I started sending all, like I could send all my friends to go like our new page. Yeah. And, uh, like it would tell me, like it would give me like a little, little update or, or little notification, and it would tell mm -hmm. me that my friends accept my. Uh, my invitation of liking the page and I got like 40 people to like our, our new like page. What's it out right now? Uh, you talking about the new like page? Yeah, I didn't even check it. Uh, 131. All right. There. Yeah. And, and that's, and 40 of those are the people who I send invitations to. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but, but I think it's just, that's only, uh, what do you think about like canceling the other one? Should I just which one? The one that we have over two thousand? No, no, the well, the four thousand one. That's the one I canceled. I it, we really have four thousand likes. They call it unpublished. <laughs> yeah, we had all them likes over four thousand. No, nah, I think uh, not. I think what they did was turn all them friend, all our all of our friends to the to likes. So it's the only way I see how they got that number. I know because I thought we were at like two thousand per minute. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would just think that we keep a like page, and I'm even thinking about. I don't even know if I want to. I mean, we'll probably just have it up, just, just, just to have it up, I guess. But I mean, our original like page, there's nothing wrong with it, right? Yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that one. See, so I don't even, I don't even think that we should even try to do the second one that we that I created. Yeah. But we'll just we'll just keep it for a while and just see like people. Continuing to like the page or whatever. <laughs> uh, 
that's the whole thing because even uh when I seen the uh, like posting from right there, how you said it says by you. Yeah. How the hell do we post just from the page? Let me see. Just want to put this up there. See what it see what it says. Yeah, see, it says about my name. I know there's a way to hide that though. Who's all right there. Close as See, it already says. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I know there's a way, man. Probably got to YouTube it to figure out how to um, to hide your your uh, your name from showing. Yeah. Because if you think about like the other pages, we need to be on the feed. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's all. So if we're just on the back page, damn, we're not getting nothing. So there has to be a way to get on the feed. And then not only that, but not put uh, yeah. not put not put your name right there. Yeah, see I don't it's confused on how how the hell why? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff had a, he had a requested us to be his friend. Who was that? Jeff. Uh huh. And his name was Callie Soul. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> get on our line. <laughs> Damn. Games over there. What the fuck? The hell are you doing? Yeah, see, like, it even shows you how many, like, that last post I, that I posted on there a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it only reached 17 people. Yeah. I don't know what the hell. Yeah, and then this one's 61. Hundreds of people. Oh, yeah. So we got, yeah, I don't get it. We got two thousand over 2,000 people. You should just keep a picture of that other one with 4,000 likes. <laughs> Love it. That one with 4,000 likes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 4,000 likes. <laughs> <laughs> and showing them in businesses and sh or when you go to meet up with people. And oh, just yeah. like, <laughs> what, we, what we got, like following. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all I had. Uh. All right.
So I, hmm. I just got uh, two more things, and then we'll we'll wrap it up. So it was that, and the first thing is the upcoming production run, the tenth one. And I just go over the number real quick. The estimated amount that we might are that we are possibly going to spend. So for the at least for the ingredients, because I still got to figure out what we're going to do about the caps and what that pricing is going to be, and then um, and then I'll have that number as well. But for the just for the the ingredients. We're looking at four thousand nine hundred ninety dollars and eighty four cents, and this is shipping is not included. So I mean, four to six, I guess you could say. Let's just round it up: fifty five hundred six six racks just for that. And then um, for the other things like the caps, the labels, and the bottles, we're looking at. Uh, I'm just gonna round it up like seventy five to to nine nine thousand let's see five six let's get some caps in there yeah so I, more closer to 7500 just based on what i'm looking at right now are under right there around 75 to eight thousand i don't think we'll hit nine thousand uh because we have still leftover leftovers from our previous production runs but as you can see, it's another what, 12, 12 plus K. This is for a 3,000 uh, 3, gallon run. I still wanted to keep it at that level. I didn't want to go over 3,750, which was our highest to date. Um, and the reason being is, once again, we're trying to prep just in case we have this new flavor that comes along and uh, be able to have the, the finances to back a production run for that. That was the first thing. And then the second. And the second thing, it's uh, something that we all have to talk about. Because uh, it's pressing. I, it came to mind earlier. I was talking to Mick and them. But it came to mind if we... When we did our, uh, and I said it said it before, but it made me look at it in a different way. But when we did our special, the twenty five dollar special, in the month of June, and we raked in ten, over ten k, and then the next month we went back to our normal pricing, and we don't even make a thousand dollars, and so it got me thinking. Like, there's two thing, two ways we can play this out because. We're able to get that production or the, the bigger productions, bigger production runs. We know that our cost of goods come down, um, and we could we could adjust the pricing for Tarot Twist because look at what that is, and we just, we we were able to do that. I mean, that was our highest selling month in our existence. We did that. We did over I think it was 18k or some 18 19k in just the month of June. And that was by dropping our prices. That gets me thinking with this line of credit that we're potentially going to be able to, uh, to get. You know, that gets me thinking about dropping the pricing or staying the course with it being a premium juice and uh, keeping our pricing where it's at until we get more established. So, that, I mean, those are the things that we need to discuss, too, as, as a whole. Because what we're trying to do is we're not trying to see that fall of a or far of a drop. I mean, you, you go 10k in just direct to consumer sales, and then the next month you just that's the dramatic drop right there. <clears throat> and all we're trying to do is we're trying to stay on that level and then increase. And therefore, we got to see what works, what could work out to our advantage, and how we can be able to sustain large amount like generating large amounts uh, of sales like that uh so those those were the two things that i wanted to bring up and 
I mean, like I said, we'll bring it back to the table because uh, I want everybody's opinion and what they think. And I mean, based on you hearing that, what, what would you say? Uh, yeah, I, I think it would be a it'd be a good thing for us if we did do that. But to me, the first thing to my, comes to my mind is I don't see how we would be able to r raise the price later on. Um, I, I know we we really push this as far as being a premium juice. I, I know for for a fact that if we do lower the price, that of course it's gonna raise raise the uh, sales numbers but uh, the fact is, is is it gonna like how much is it gonna affect like our bottom line like is it gonna be a big difference or is it just are, are we gonna be, be like getting by or are we still gonna be making a good a good size profit or it just kind of depends on what we're thinking about uh, like lowering it down to no, because the whole thing is with the adjustments in uh, pricing, it's all based on our cost of goods. So once again, if, if we just uh, I re replay um, the larger quantities that we manufacture, the our cost of goods come down. Yeah. And so when our cost of goods come down, therefore, we can actually drop the pricing and still meet within our profit margins that we're supposed to do because – yeah uh, and that's 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 the only way that's why i'm why i'm thinking like that because of the fact that this opportunity presented itself and what you know it's perfect timing for us to to do something like that but it comes comes along with other things as well a man having distribution set up ready to move all this work because you get up to that level i mean that's uh, that's over three thousand cases uh just on that the largest production run and I mean, we just moved um, what fifteen pallets, or thir thirteen, I think. We just moved thirteen pallets in two months. And we're talking about in two months we moved thirteen pallets, and we're talking about. Uh, like no, knowing that it took us two months, but it was the summer months, and we had a special. But you do that biggest production run, you're saying, "Oh man, you got to figure out ways on how to get it out, get it all off," because you don't want to get stuck with all of that. And you're just like, "Damn, we just can let hell of product expire." It's one thing if it expires in the retailer. Oh man, that's on them. We came and helped out, and we try to do what we can, but we can only do so much. But if it expires on us. Ah, oh, that's not a good, that's not a good thing, and we don't want to get caught in that. Uh, and I think that's the reason why we've been doing the way we've been uh, manufacturing with our production runs. It works for us because what we know we can be able to move all this product. I mean, the most we've moved was uh, was eighteen pallets. Yeah, eighteen pallets. We moved that. We know we can move more, but it's just about the timing, I believe, and just understanding when to pull that trigger. But that's why it brought, to me, that's why uh, these thoughts came about. It was because of that, like coming into some capital yeah. and being able to do something with it of this nature. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see where you're coming from. It's just, yeah. It is all about timing. It comes down to that timing because not only do we want to not get stuck with it, but we don't want to give the uh, retailer like a couple months to sell the product or, or whatever it may be. And you got it because you see how we had to play with them August cases. For real. So, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's good. To, uh, I, I know it'll, it'll probably lower. It's just a lot of factors that would really. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's tough. It's yeah. tough. But we won't make. We won't be able to make the decision just like that. But at least we're we're talking about it, and then it makes us think about certain things, and then that's how we'll come down to a decision. Uh, 
But like you said, there's so many factors, and you're just saying, dang. I mean, it may just be like fucking crazy. We we do that, and now it just now they're selling like crazy. But there's, I mean, the only thing that always that's why I'm always uh I'm always cautious, and when I make a move because uh, you know one thing that we've we what I look at is uh, from experience, and from experience there are accounts that were doing two for five. And then they dropped it to two for four and they killed. And then they went back to two for five. And then they still moving product, not as, as much, but they're still moving. But then there's some accounts that went from two for, two for five to two for four. And they're moving slower than they were the two for five. And that's that's what I'll be tripping off of. Like, what the hell? And I, and I try to tell some of these guys, I'm like, man, you could drop the price. But, I mean, and then when, when I come and do the... Uh, and find out the data and i'm telling them i was like man hey man it didn't even matter that you dropped it to two for four because now you're moving it slower yeah so it's kind of crazy i i I don't really get it personally um i know it it has a lot to deal with people not going to that store people not buying as often uh yeah there's a lot of things and then who knows what's going on on the retailers and so i mean yeah. what to say but it's, it's yeah. things like that that make me cautious about dropping prices and and uh <laughs> and then shooting ourselves in the foot too early i didn't we didn't ride it out long enough it's like we got to list out like all the positives and the negatives uh-huh. and then just see what what outweighs the other if the negatives if it's gonna hurt us, like you know, in the long run, like is it gonna? Are we gonna take a, a huge hit, or are we gonna we could take a hit, but maybe it won't be as bad as as far as like maybe maybe we can minimize that, that like the damage that is done. But right. if it's huge damage, then we definitely don't want to take that risk. Yeah, you might not be able to recover. Yeah, and those, those are the things that we learned early on. Hey man, don't try to take leaps and bounds if you ain't even ready for all that. <laughs> like yeah. You're still learning how to skip, and you over here. <laughs> what a man. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, definitely, uh, we'll talk about that more. And as far as us, we got it. Does not. I mean, we were we're what seven days into this month. As far as you guys know, who you guys are, uh, Will seventy two. You need 28 to reach 100, and Pizzo has 73. He needs 25 to meet 100. S has 96. He needs four more to reach 100. Stay on it. Stay active. Um, see this thing all the way through. You know, you're right there. And uh, we can do this. We really can. And that's why it's important for us. Even when, uh, like, I'll bring this one up, for example. It's a big one. But uh, when we did the drop to the Marina Shell, and when I told Will, yeah, we finna go do this, and he's like, oh, man, <laughs> let me know, because I'm finna go, too. <laughs> I need to get the cases. <laughs> but it's things like that, just finding out, hey, man, for you, Will, personally, uh, man, if you get off early, hey, man, is there any deliveries I need to – to happen or something, I'm over here. I'm in this area. Oh, shit, take care of this. Or something like that where you say, man, fuck this. I'm finna sell this 28. I'm finna be, get to my 100. You know what I mean? It's, but it's little things like that that we have to take the initiative because we're so close. We're so close to a goal that we all set in our mind and we said we're going to do it. We accept the challenge and we're right there. About to cross cross the finish line, but we just haven't put the ball over yet. So let's finish off, finish this thing off, so we can move forward. Um, and then even with the events, like we talk about, it's hard to find them. But if we come across something, we got to get up on there, and uh, and, and then it, that helps out a lot as well. But this this is a uh, the last thing I want to end with is something that. I told you guys from the gate is I wanted to really hire my brothers as employees or at least somebody gets 
get an employee in this thing. And what this will allow us to do as well is it allows more flexibility, like I just said, and it gives us the opportunity to do something like that because now we, we have gotten to a certain point where we can be able to handle another expense of paying somebody out. And that's the, that's what I told you guys from when we started this year off. I said, man, that's one of my goals. My biggest goal to be, to be honest, that's my biggest goal. And we're, we're real close to that. And that makes me happy, man. It makes me excited because everything that we talk about, I think that's what the, what's so unreal about this journey, but everything that we just, people probably be thinking we'd be BSing or whatever, and we just be fucking around or, but everything that we talk about, like, you really see that shit come in the past. And it's real, <laughs> but it, it's so, it makes it so unreal because once again, we don't, don't even expect it. We're so into, man, we just want to make something happen that when things are coming our way, we're just like, oh, damn, is it, this shit is real? But it is real. And it's happening for us. And it's, and, when I when I see things like this, like I said, man, we get this door open. It's just going to add on to more. Okay, now we have got more flexibility to start paying another person, and another, and then next thing you know we got squads and we're going to war. It's it's going to be a beautiful thing. Uh, all I can say is just continue to to just go through it. Point blank, just go through it. It's hard, regardless. But we got him on our side, and that's all that matters. So with that being said, man, appreciate you guys. I thank you guys for your time. Uh, be expecting a lot of things to be coming our way. We're always expecting that. Uh, and just stay in the loop. You know, continue to uh, stay prayed up and know that we're almost there. We're almost there. It just takes time. But be patient with this. Uh, you good, Us? Yep. Yes, sir. So I'll go ahead and end us, end us out in prayer, and then we get on our separate ways. Father, Lord, I come to your prayer. Lord, I thank you for allowing us to come together on this Friday. And um, before we get into the weekend, we just want to give you all the praise, glory, and honor. And we don't say those words just to say them. We mean them. At the end of the day, Lord, we just want to make you proud because you loved us and you believed in us so much. And we're just trying to not just put your name out there. When we talk of you, when we speak of you, when we tell people about you and who sent us, they feel that. They feel it because it's real. And our personal relationship with you is so strong that we're willing to look like fools to other people to make something happen. When everybody else doesn't believe and they don't see what we see, we just continue to move because you are the one who sent us. And so all the opportunities, all the, the open doors, everything that continues to come our way, we receive them. We know we're going to need a lot more, Lord, and we're hungry. You know we need 500 k to a million dollars to be able to support this venture on a high level. We're believing in that. We know you're going to lead us to the people that we need to get in contact with, and you're going to send them our way. We know that. We trust and believe. And even when times get hard, we still trust and believe. We're going to have those days, but we're also going to have good days. And with you, Lord, we know that you're going to get us to where we desire to be. So we ask that you be with us near and far. We give you all the praise, glory, and honor. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir.